the changes in the environment environmental studies grade 1 part 2 so before we move on to our lesson today I will briefly explain you what we have learned in our earlier lesson there we learned about environment environment is everything around us and we learnt about five basic needs of human beings from the environment those were oxygen water food shelter and warmth we learned that we get all those from the our planet that means from the our environment then we learnt about the weather changes during a day. In a sunny day, morning weather is very pleasant. At noon, sun shines very brightly and it is very hot. And in the evening, sun sets in the evening and the weather becomes pleasant again. And we learn about how weather changes from one day to another. Some days were sunny days. Sunny days are extremely hot, the sun shines brightly and the weather is warm. Some days were rainy days. When the weather is overcast with the clouds, it is called a cloudy day or rainy day. And we learnt about how the environment changes before rain. The sky appears darker, clouds become dark and gloomy. It may be thunder and lightning. Trees may sway due to heavy wind and there were so many changes. Then we learnt about changes in the environment after the rain. What can you see after the rain? You can see some puddles, leaves and branches fallen down from the trees and also there can be flood, roadblocks, drain system can be blocked but the environment looks so fresh after the rain. Okay. Can you remember our experiment? We kept a stone, a coin and a pencil under the sunlight. Then we observe what has happened to them. Okay. When you touch and feel those, what could you feel? Yes. The coin got heated most the pencil got heated least. Okay, so now we can move on to our lesson today. In this lesson, we will learn about a windy day, damages caused by the heavy rain and wind. Let's move on to our lesson. Windy day. Simply wind is moving air. Wind is invisible just as air. However, we can see the things that are moving by wind and effects of it. How can we tell if the wind is blowing? Wind can make other things move. What are the things that you have seen moved by the wind? The power of blowing wind can be called energy. Sometimes wind energy can make machines work. To make things easier and faster, for people. An example of wind creating energy is a 
wind mill have you ever seen a wind mill children now we are going to do some experiments that means we are going to check what wind can do and how it looks like let's move on to our experiments experiment number one things needed you will need a leaf a piece of paper some cotton wool and a feather and also if you can find a vara flower that's better how to do this experiment go out to your garden close your eyes and listen to the sound of how trees sway during the wind then open your eyes and see how trees sway due to the wind now with the supervision of your parents you can stand in a bit higher place and release the objects that you have to the air what do you observe children i hope you can see these light things are floating in the wind conclusion of this experiment is wind can move things float things and change the direction of things in experiment 1 we learned that wind can move things and wind can float things okay let's do experiment 2 and find what else wind can do for this experiment you will need an incense stick and also some flags how to do this activity okay go out to your garden light an incense stick and expose it to the wind can you see the wind no but can you see the fumes of the incense sticks find where the fumes are going okay while you are doing this activity with the incense stick use the flags and stick them all together on the ground or hold the flags and expose them to wind again i'm asking can you see the wind no but can you see the flags are turning to one side or different sides due to wind your observation should be fumes are moving in the direction of wind and the flags are turning to one side or different sides due to wind so the conclusion is air or wind doesn't have any color if you blow a balloon air will get the shape of that balloon so the conclusion is air doesn't have any shape or size as well and as we find in our earlier experiment wind can move things and float things and here we found that wind can change the direction of things that's why the flags were turning to one side or different sides that's why the fumes are going where the winds are going okay i hope the experiment is very clear for you 
Let's move on to the experiment 3. Things needed for experiment 3. A leaf, piece of paper, some cotton wool, a feather, a toy, a stone and some colored flower. If you can find a vara flower, that's better. How to do this activity? Explore an electric fan. Remember that child should be supervised while doing all these experiments. Okay. Explore an electric fan and place various items in front of it and find out if they blow away when the fan is turned on. What can you see children? I hope you can see only the light things are floating in the wind. What are the light things here? A toy or a stone? Am I correct? No. The light things here are a leaf, a vara flower, a piece of paper, the cotton wools and the feather. Colored flower also the light things. So, what is the conclusion we can get here? Wind can move things, float things and change the direction of things. I hope you learned so many things from these experiments. Things that float in the wind. Can you remember that we learned this while we were learning the lesson, the sky we see. Okay. As I said, there are also the light things can float in the wind and we found that from our experiments as well. So the things that float in the wind are cotton wool, vara flower, feathers, kite. So remember only the light things can float in the wind. So children, can you remember that in each lesson we did some fun activities. For this lesson also we have a fun activity to do. This is not easy to do by your own. So you can get the help of your parents. Things needed. Some coconut leaves and an anchor. Can you see the pictures that I have given here? Yes, I have given you all the steps of how to make the pinwheel. And also, I have added a video. You can watch that and make the pinwheel like that. Don't forget to send us some photos or videos of your pinwheel.
we learned about a sunny day, a rainy day, and a windy day. Not like sunny day, rainy day or a windy day can bring us damages to our lives and our properties. How is that? We are going to learn about that. Heavy rainfall can lead to numerous hazards, for example, flooding including the risk to human life, damage to buildings and infrastructure, and loss of crops and livestock, landslides which can threaten human life, disrupt transport and communication, and cause damage to buildings. Strong wind can damage or destroy vehicles, buildings, bridges, trees, personal property and other outside objects. So this is a serious situation. We call this type of weather as extreme weather. So extreme weather can lead into various damages to our lives. Let's learn about what are those damages caused by heavy rain and wind. Please go through all these pictures. Heavy rain and wind can uproot trees. Whether it's a big or small tree, the heavy wind can uproot it when it's become to the extreme weather. And the next picture, you can see a house which has destroyed by heavy rain and wind. Next picture you can see flood. Flooding is an overflowing of water onto land that is normally dry. Floods can happen during heavy rain. Next you can see the picture of landslip. This is also known as landslide. Landslide is defined as movement of mass of rock or earth down a slope. This also can happen during heavy rain. Due to heavy rain and wind, roadblocks also can happen. Due to heavy wind, trees can uproot or branches of trees can be fallen down to the roads. Also there can be landslips. Because of both incidents, there can be roadblocks. So this is also a big damage that can happen due to heavy rain and wind. My dear children, now we have come to the end of this lesson. Let's recall what we have learned. We learned about a windy day and we did some activities. That means we did some experiments to find out what wind can do and what wind looks like. Then we learned about Things that can float with the wind. And we did a fun activity how to make a pinwheel. Finally, we learnt about damages caused by heavy rain and wind. Please go through all the lessons again and again.
So my dear children, hope you all enjoyed this lesson. I will bring you another interesting lesson very soon. Have a good day.